guys welcome back to Dempa Robotics Academy Goa Drag. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a math quiz using MIT App Inventor. Please leave this video a like and also subscribe to our channel. Our app will include these features. The first feature is that there will be random numbers. Second feature, it will have all the four operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Timestamps are below. Feel free to skip to any section if you want. First, we are going to click on screen 1 like this and make the horizontal and the vertical arrangement to center. After doing this, we are going to drag out a label. The label's name will be Math Quiz. If you want, you can also rename it here, but I will do it at the end of the video to save time. After this, we are, can make the font size to 30. Next, we are going to drag out a label and put no text for it. So now the use of this label is that it will give a space between the first label and the other component which will come below it. The second component will be a button. Drag out a button from the user interface and after that we can scroll down and rename it to new question. After this you can change the font size to 25 and you can change the background color to cyan and also change the shape to round it. Now after this as you know we are again going to drag out one more label for spacing. Now the third component is going to be a table arrangement. After dragging it out you will have to change the columns to 3 and the rows to 1. After this click on user interface and drag out 3 labels one after the other like this. Then set their text to 0 here also it should be 0 and here the text should be plus sign. After that we are going to increase the font size a bit 20. If wanted you can make it more bigger as you can see I have done that and now we are again going to put another label for spacing. The next component is going to be a label where it will show if your answer is correct and if your answer is not correct it will display that your answer is incorrect with the correct answer of the question. So let's drag that out and let's change the font size to 20. You can make it bold and also we have to change the text to nothing. Then again we are going to drag out a space label. After this remove the text and that's done. The next component is a text box. So drag out the text box from here and remove the hint. Then make the font size to 20 and make it to numbers only because here we are going to enter the answer. After that the next component is going to be a button. So let's remove the label text of the space label and add a button and name it to submit. You can have the same properties as the new question button. So after this is done, now I am going to rename all the components and cut that part. So you can pause the video and see the renamed components and do the same on your screen. As you can see, I have renamed all the components. Now you can pause the video for a while and take a look at them. So now let's get into the coding section. First, we are going to create a variable and name it to sign. Then go to the list section and make a list and click on the settings items and add two more item blocks like this. Then drag out this string block from the text section and then duplicate it four times. So that attach those, make the first one to the addition sign, the second one to the subtraction sign third one to the multiplication sign and the fourth one to the division sign. After this, we are going to code for the new question button. So when the new question button is clicked, we need to change the answer label text to nothing like this. After that, we need to set the sign label text to a random item from the list. After that, we are going to the math section and drag two of these random integers from 1 to 100 blocks. Now we are going to set the number 1 text as 
a random integer from 1 to 100. And instead of 1, we are going to put it as 6. And the second value is going to be 365. You can put any value you want. But now I'm going to put these. Then you can just duplicate this and make the number to number 2. So when the submit button is clicked, we are going to drag out a if then else condition like this if sign label text is equal to plus then we are going to put another if then else condition if answer text box text is equal to number one plus number two like this if the answer text box text is equal to number one plus number two then it should change answer label text to you have got the answer correct and if it is wrong it should set the answer label text to you have got the answer wrong then we are going to go to the text section again drag out the join button and then we are going to this and change the text to you have got the answer wrong the correct answer is number one text plus number two text like this now we are going to do the same thing for the rest of I will do this in and later share the code. So now since I have done the code, you can pause the video for a while and check it out. Now we are going to test out our app. And now this is our app. When you click on new question, as you can see, we have got this question. I'm going to enter a random answer and click on submit and it shows the answer was wrong. So so now I'm going to enter the correct answer for this question. So the answer to this question will be and as you can see it has shown you have got the answer correct so if you like this app please like this video and subscribe to this channel it means a lot to me also if you have any doubts or if your app isn't working please tell us below in the comments so i can reply to you thank you bye